16 or 17, I met this person in Mazdar, in the elevator, and he was telling me something about hydrogen, yes? And I, you know, I am always kind with people, yes? Of course, I said, yes, yes, this is great, yes? But actually, I understood nothing, yes? And this person is a winner of our next award, Visionary Clean Tech Advocate, and this award is very special because this is a award with the name of Pranav Mehta, who was one of the pioneers of solar industry in India, a very close friend of all of us. And unfortunately, last year, he left us. But as I promised to his family, that uh, his name will stay in the industry forever. Yes, so we founded this award, Pranav Mehta Award. And it goes also to a very special person, the winner of this award is Frank Bouters. And uh, it's a pleasure to invite our friends and partners, Paul Cornelius and also Mark Mirza. Mark is here. Ah, Mark also. And you see, like when you see the photos, Frank first, uh, let's say, dream was to become actor, yes? But hopefully he didn't become the famous actor, but he became very famous in our industries. Uh, one of the first uh, leaders of Mazdar, yes? Uh, working uh, with many European projects, European Commission, also advisor of uh, DII, and I think one of the persons actually who brought hydrogen to DII. But you see, like, uh, who can say more about Frank than uh, Paul? Yes, so Paul, let me ask you for very nice laudatio to our friend, Frank. Well, uh, thank you, Thomas. This is uh, a very great honor to, uh, to, to talk to a good friend, a business friend of DII, and, and a personal friend, and also a long-term co-fighter in our fight for no emissions, for uh, actually climate protection and uh, energy security. And I know Frank for more than 20 years. And uh, if you take a dictionary and you pick all the positive words of it, you can apply to Frank more or less. <laughs> but I, I, I make a selection. <laughs> Uh, Frank is, for instance, and we all know this, I think most of people here and people that are not here know Frank as a great moderator. He is able, uh, as no one else, uh, to moderate discussions, uh, to, to pick the right arguments, pro, con, and to also lead it to the right conclusions. And he's also a, a good supporter in, in, in the group, in, in, to CBC, to, to DII, and, and many others like... Uh, uh, Europe, uh, GCC uh, network, clean energy, and, and now also with the European Union and, and the, the MENA region and uh, India, very international. So I can speak for, for hours about him, and, but I know that it, it is not that it's boring, actually, because he's also Dutch, and Dutch don't like it. Dutch people don't. But I would say the slogan that we all have together, together we are stronger. And if you look at Frank, then I think we could even make it a little bit more powerful. Together with Frank, we are strongest. Thank <laughs> <laughs> Cornelius also, because you worked with Frank so many years. Would you like to add something special? Yeah, well, I met Frank first in 2010. Uh, you were director of Mazda Power, and you gave a speech at our first annual conference. Uh, one of the few people here, I think, who uh, actually since the first conference were kind of uh, part of the extended team. We highly valued all your ideas and, and, and thoughts when we were in the process of relaunching Step by Step DI 2016, 2017. But one of your biggest flash of thought was actually the idea to set up a MENA Hydrogen Alliance. And that's what we did together after the 10th anniversary 
I remember, and uh, well, that was your idea, and we jointly launched it, and it became, I think, a big success story and a big uh, ingredient, a big factor for the revival of the eye. Since then, we grew from 28 to, uh, to 120 partners. So I think that is quite a success story. So I'm so happy that you've been helping us for, for many, many years with great ideas, great advice as a genuine fighter and friend. And uh, I think we, we share the same values and uh, I'm, I'm so happy to, well, to look up to you from the first days and to, to always learn new amazing things. Uh, thank you so much. And congrats. Frank always has a positive smile, whatever happens, and I love his presentations. Why? Because there are lots of real-life examples in the presentations, and whenever he goes to present something, I'm very you know, keen to see what real-life example Frank will put again out of his, how you call, long years of experience and uh, successful story. Congratulations. Frank, frankly speaking, it's a proof that you really deserve it, yeah? because uh, you are not just a business person, you are an advocate, yes? You are advocating through all your activities, through all your life. So what this award means to you and how you think, you know, this idea that you brought me in 2016 about hydrogen can become true. Yes, thank you, uh, Tomas. Well, f first of all, you know, thank you guys for this recognition. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, I I've known Paul forever. Uh, was it early 90s or something that we first uh, got introduced? But Tomas, uh, I think you're solid second. It's probably 20 years ago that we uh, that we worked together in in projects. At, at uh, yeah 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 yeah. Don't don't hide. Uh, uh, probably 20 years ago that we first met at, at APR, and uh, I was a big fan of your boss, uh, John Bond. He ha he had the ma most amazing stories. I mean, this guy was. Uh, you know, a, a great character. But, you know, this, uh, this award, uh, it, it means a lot. I mean, um, advocate, uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm always for, let's say, a vision for the future. I've, I've, I'm a one-trick pony. I've only done uh, what, what we now call energy transition. Uh, but, but, you know, for more than 30 years, I've, I've, I've done this. And uh, now it's mainstream. It used to be uh, consulting. It was small. We did pilots, uh, etc. Nobody believed that solar would ever grow big. Uh, even ourselves, we didn't believe it. Uh, and now that is sort of like common knowledge. We all know that, that we can do solar at, at, at competitive prices. It's going to be the, the energy that's going to drive everything. Hydrogen is just another, you know, next step that, that we just need because we, we know we have to store and transport energy. And hydrogen is that, uh, you know, that carrier that can actually you know, do that based on, on solar and everything else. So uh, thank you for this recognition. Uh, thank you for the friendship. And uh, let's, you know, continue the, you know, the strong bonds that we have, the H2H, the CBC, DII stuff that we uh, all love and uh, continue to, to love in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much. So guys, let's help me see the award.